Hi everyone. Uh, what I'm going to talk about in this video is flattening the trajectory for the 308 7.62 millimeter. Um, Winch uh, 308 Winchester 7.62 millimeter by 51. Now, uh, flattening the trajectory is basically is setting up your zero so that you can you will know where the bullet's path is going to be at different yardages. Um, so anyway, let's get into it. Uh, with a 147 grain full metal jacket bullet traveling at 2,800 or 2,800 feet uh, muzzle velocity, uh, at 100 yards it's going to shoot 4.7 inches high. At 200 yards, 5.5. At zero, at 300 yards it will be zero. At 400 yards. 12.9 inches low. Now, what you do is you, you you have these numbers. You've got a 300 yard zero. You've gone to the range. You've confirmed you have a 300 yard zero. You shot at one, two, and 400 yards. You've confirmed where the bullet is hitting. There's no need to adjust your sights, right? You just aim off. Now, for a 168 grain bullet. 2,600 feet a second. It's 5.4 inches at 100, 6.4 inches at 200, 0 at 3, 14 inches low at 400 yards. The 180 grain spire point, 2,500 feet a second at the muzzle, 6.1 high at 100 yards, 7 inches high at 200, 0 at 3, minus 16 at 4. Now, with these numbers, you're able to aim off. As I always stress, these are numbers. They come out of a book. They come out of mathematical theory. Okay? These are not the be end and the be all and end all. They're the only you these have to be confirmed. There's so many variables. Your rifle, your barrel length, heat, temperature, light, lack of light, um, uh, uh, wind. All these things affect where your bullet is going to land. But with these numbers, this is a starting point for you to go out and confirm what your rifle is doing. If you have a most of you I know do not have a competition grade uh, scope. When I talk about a competition grade, I'm talking about one that costs uh, anywhere from eight hundred to ten thousand um, dollars. You know, if you've got one of those scopes that you paid one hundred and sixty dollars for, one hundred and twenty dollars for, and it's got target sights on it, well, you've just got a you know, a cheap scope with target sights, and they will not give you what you need. So if, and I know that most people do not have competition grade scopes. I shot competition for years, and I don't have one anymore because I sold them. All right, um, but uh, the thing is, is that you have to confirm this stuff. You have to go to the range. You have to s get your 300 yard zero. And you have to shoot at 1, 2, and 4. And I also recommend shooting at 25, 50, and 75 so that you know the path of that bullet. You've got to pick a bullet. You've got to pick a rifle. You've got to learn how to shoot it. Right? I know many of you out there have lots of guns, and you shoot them, but you definitely have got to pick one. And you've got to master that, ri that, that rifle. Anyway... And it really doesn't matter what the rifle is. You know, it's in, in, in 308, 7.62, M14, fantastic rifle. Absolutely fantastic. Shot one for years. Um, uh, FN, FAL, shot them for a long time. Remington bolt actions. If you can find one of the old 308 Israeli conversion Mausers, excellent rifles. Um... Savage, excellent stuff, right? Um, 
the Remington 700, though, I really do love. I, I, I just think the, it's... I've shot against it. I've shot custom Mausers against it. And I never did defeat it. Uh, a good friend of mine, and... Uh, well, actually, two good friends of mine. Incredible snipers. Um, um, ah, they use 700 Remington's. And just, ah, just incredible. Anyway... Till the next time.